Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Fijito Studio and today I'm going to show with you how to bring audio inside the Fusion page. So if you're ready, let's check it out. All right, so in DaVinci Resolve right now, we're in the edit page and here as you can see, you have a clip with some audio on track one and some music on track two. If I move over to the Fusion page and that I open right here my keyframe panel, you can see that right here I have my media in one and that if I open the drop down, here I have some green marks. I'm gonna just click zoom to fit to see it properly. Now we don't see the waveform, but I just need to play it to just generate the waveform right here. And as you can see, we have the waveform, but also the audio that has been carried over from the edit page to the fusion page. But right now we are in our main video clip. Most likely you will want to use that fusion option on a fusion clip or on a new fusion composition or an adjustment clip. So let's bring a fusion composition and see how it works. Now, if I select my fusion composition and this time I go over to the fusion page, as you can see, I have nothing that has been carried over right here to the fusion page. So if we play it, we don't have any sound. This is very easy to fix. You just need to bring a new media in node and use it just as a placeholder for your music. So here you're going to hit shift space on your keyboard and you're going to search for media in and bring that media in in your working area. And as you can see with that media in, we bring over the audio from the edit page. This media in don't need to be connected to anything. It just needs to be in the fusion page. So DaVinci know to bring over your audio from your timeline. Also two things to know, if I play it, as you can see the audio is starting exactly where my audio is starting here in the fusion page. It's picking up right in that spot. It's not picking up from the beginning. So that's where you'll be able to just sync your motion graphics with your audio from the edit page. Another thing that you've probably noticed is it doesn't bring one specific track. It brings all the audio from the edit page. That include the sound of your clip, the music, and any SFX that you might have used. Now, another technique to match your motion graphic with sound is to use markers, because those markers as well will be carried over to the Fusion page and will help you to just define the right spot for a specific animation to happen. You can drop a marker by hitting the letter M on your keyboard and it will just put a marker here in your timeline. Make sure that you have no clip selected when you do so and that the marker is dropped on the timeline itself and not a clip, otherwise it will not be carried over to the Fusion page. As you can see right now, for example, if I select this clip and I drop a marker right here, it's been applied to the clip and not to the timeline. Therefore, now if I try to go to my Fusion composition in Fusion, I have no marker that has been applied. But if I go back to the edit page here, making sure that I have nothing selected. Now, if I play it and drop a few marker on the timeline itself, like one marker, two marker, three marker and four. Now, if I go over to the Fusion page again, as you can see, those marker have been carried over to the Fusion page. So that could be, for example, a great way to mark some specific moment in your music to match your animation or certain composition or effect that you're creating in Fusion that you want to match with your audio. Now, if I want something specific to happen, like a text animation, I could just, for example, here, bring a text, link it to my media out, name it DaVinci, and then we're gonna do a simple size animation. And I know I want that animation to start at frame 19 here on my marker, for example. So I'm gonna go at frame 19. Here, I'm gonna drop the size to the minimum, drop a keyframe, and then go a few frames forward. So for example, here, I know I want it to finish at frame 44. So I'm just gonna take my cursor, bring it to the marker. And then here, we're just gonna do a keyframe on the size. And now we've been really precise on where we've dropped our marker and our keyframe, and be sure that we have everything synced with our audio. And that's pretty much it. Hope this video was helpful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comment what kind of video you'd like to see next and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videoeditorstudio.com.